Today we're solving checkmate in four, checkmate in five, and checkmate in six moves. Let's see how fast and how accurately we can calculate. We're going to be allocating five minutes per exercise. If we cannot find it, we look at the answer, but at least we calculate it. You can see on the left, the evaluation, it says made in four white pieces to move. So five minutes and I will see you then. Okay, so this one, I think it's uh, it's not that difficult. I just found it in... The first thing that came to mind was, of course, the move queen h5. Another candidate move that came to mind was the move h4. Now, with the move h4, notice that the king can only go to one of, the, of, of these three squares. Out of those three, king f6 is extremely easy to realize that we got checkmate in the next move. Remember, pawn is on h4. Then is after h4, king goes to f4, we got queen f7 check. The only thing they could do besides moving the king is blocking. We take, and at that point, king has to go to g4, only move. And I think queen g5 would be checkmate. Don't forget, pawn is here, and pawn is here, and the queen is controlling everything else. Then if h4, king f4, queen f7, King simply goes to the side, they don't block with the bishop. We have three, they take, and four. So that's checkmate. And then the last variation we have to calculate is h4, king g4. We got queen h5 now, only now. And after king f4 only move, we have queen f3 checkmate. Now let me double check here with the engine. And yeah, absolutely, h4, king f4. Oh, they're giving queen h... Oh, no, no, okay. Queen h6 works. And then after queen h6, king g4, queen h5, and the same thing. Yep, king f4, and then g3. I guess this also works. So, absolutely. Now, the way I found it was queen f7, bishop f6. We take queen g5, checkmate. All right, so we got that one. And what was the other variation? If they simply go here, then queen h5, king f4, mate. And then, of course, if they go to f6, this is checkmate in one move. So, guys, not that difficult. And for those of you who are always saying, oh, but in a real game, no one tells me there's checkmate in four, so I'm not going to find it. Well, we got to start, or we should know by now at this point in the course that, hey, that king exposed, surrounded by all of these white pieces, there has to be checkmate, so we look we look for that. Now, let me go to the second one, and this one, if you look at the evaluation, it's black to move and mate in five. So, see you in five minutes. And by the way, guys, the first thing that comes to mind here is that since this queen cannot put my king in check in one move, I might have a move that is not check on my opponent's king. Maybe it's a move where I bring the king over or things like that. So just look for those things when you solve these exercises, when you're calculating in your games. All right, so this one, either I'm on fire or these are not that complicated. But again, the point is for us to calculate accurately. Now this one, pretty forcing, is actually queen f3 check, only move, g5 and right here they have two options either they take the pawn or they continue to h5 if they take the pawn then we're familiar with this pattern check followed by checkmate they have to go to h5 and then this is just checkmate finally if we take the pawn they go king h4 g5 king h5 we go queen h3 check only move and then check and checkmate same thing but the other way around so let me activate the engine Made in five, queen f3 is the first move. They have to go here, g5. And then if they go here, made in two. And going back, if they just move down, queen h3, check, 
and then that's checkmate. All right, let me go then to the last one. White pieces to move. We got checkmate in six moves. So see you in five minutes or less. <laughs> That's it guys, my time is up. If this variation doesn't work, then I look at the answer and I learn to see what I was what I was doing wrong. Now still, if I get it wrong, when I look at the answer, I wanna do it in my head to visualize everything instead of playing it out on the board first. So this is what I got. Queen e4 has to be the move, threatening mate. Only way to stop it or to delay it is king h5. Then queen a7 check, knight h6, queen g6. This is the move that I couldn't find earlier. And after queen g6, only move, then I take, that's check, actually checkmate, unless after queen e4, they do in between move check, that's my second move when I take back, then king h5, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. So this is my 6 move checkmate. I don't think there's anything else against queen e4. If there is, then I completely missed it. So let me activate the engine. And we got, yep, queen e4, exactly what we calculated, king h5. Then there are a few ways here to deliver mate in, actually three ways to deliver mate in four. You got king g2, you got queen g4, and you got queen h7. Let me take a look at the one I saw first, and then we go over the other one. Then queen g6, king h4, check. And then I just realized that my move doesn't work. There are three different ways to deliver checkmate here. One two <laughs> and three in my mind i thought bishop f5 but it doesn't work knight takes so there you have it guys for me the main takeaway is when i do this again i have to take my time to double check and push myself further so with that said let me know in the comments if you're getting something out of these sessions and i will see you in our next lesson